morning. The day is Sunday, the washing is on, there's washing hanging. I've um, dressed, I'm ready to go out, I've had my breakfast, been listening to my book, I'm going to go for a walk. I've decided that this morning is going to be a walking morning. I need to get out and get some fresh air. And then I can poodle in the afternoon in the flat, tidy and all that boring stuff, maybe. Or just sit and read. I don't know. I haven't decided. So currently it's sort of overcast. It's not meant to rain until this afternoon. That's why I want to get out early. Well, say early. It's 20 to 11. 5 to 11. Yeah. Uh, and get on with the day, really. Um, question. See the Chinese money plant there, if anybody knows anything about plants. I've got babies babies but I don't want to kill them so I think I have to take them out or repot them or something but if anybody knows how to do that <laughs> let me know because that'd be very handy frankly I'm amazed that I haven't killed it because I normally do kill these things but don't know if you can see we have a baby there do I have two babies or just one baby yeah and uh, another little baby coming there so I have two babies and I think I should remove them but I'm not really sure how to do that and I don't want to damage my gorgeous plant. So I'm taking minimal with me today, I'm not taking a handbag or anything, I'm taking a bag with a drink of water or squash, my coffee cup, my headphones, I'm taking my little Louis Vuitton clay that I've had for years and years and years. So that's just got some money in it and my card and my driving license, just in case, you know, you never know if you're going to get pulled over by the police, hopefully not. And um, this, I've had this for years, it's um, it's a MAC lipstick, and I know they test on animals, but I've had it for years and I might as well use it up. Um, it's in the colour Modesty and it's, it's really nice, it's just like a natural, my natural lip colour. Uh, and it's just really nice. It's a cream sheen. If that means anything to you. Definitely going to finish that off because otherwise it's a waste, isn't it? Yeah, that's it. Going to leave the washing machine running. And I am going to go for a walk around Virginia Water as usual. Maybe through the woods, try and avoid people. Plug myself into my Audible book and get some fresh air. So let's go. Just putting my uber fashionable, trendy walking shoes on. <laughs> but, you know, they're the most comfortable to walk in. I'm going straight into the woods. <laughs> There's far too many people, dogs, buggies, bikes, scooters, you name it. It's a typical Sunday morning slash afternoon for families but uh, it's just too busy so I'm going in the woods for oh, peace I was very lucky with the uh, parking situation so where I normally park is like a little free car park but a lot of people also are the other people try and park in this free car park and it's very small and people get a little bit aggressive and also you, you really can't turn around once you're in the car park so you've got to reverse and you know most people around here have got humongous cars so it <laughs> gets everybody a bit stressed but as I was going into the car park this massive 4x4 was reversing out and I thought oh well, they've given up so I went in and thought well I'll just turn around and come out again but as I was about to turn around a man got into his car and went so I nabbed his space and I think the 4x4 who had reversed out then got a bit narky because they wanted that space because they were there first but they'd reversed out so I thought they were leaving and they weren't anywhere near the space and I was so you know <laughs> sod's law isn't it so they gave me a bit of an evil. Somebody was beeping. There was another car trying to get into another space. They, I don't know who was beeping at who, but somebody was beeping at me. I don't know. It was all very stressful. People get very stressed.
Those woods always remind me of the Moomin woods, you know, from the Moomin books. They have the same trees. I always feel like I'm walking through the Moomin forest. Oh my God, there's a sausage store coming. <gasps> I'm going to try and get it. It wasn't a sausage dog. It was a spaniel. But it was far away, so it looked like a sausage dog. I am boiling. It's actually really mild, and I've worn my thick coat, scarf, hat, gloves, jumper, long sleeve. I'm boiling. The weather forecast today was, you know, that the temperature was going to plummet, there'd be snow in the country. Well, I'm boiling. I don't know how long I can walk for in this stupid mild weather. <sighs> oh my god, I'm absolutely boiling. I've had to take my coat off, my scarf off. I've put my hat back on because my head's cold. I'm boiling. It's starting to rain. I've put my coat back on. I'm boiling. I think I've got another mile to do. And then I'm done, thank God. I found it really difficult today because I've been so warm. And it's so busy. It's just too busy. Too busy for me. So, nearly done. Right, oh. got back to my car, left straight away because people were queuing for car parking space and it all gets very stressy and anxious and aggressive. Um, I'm really sweaty, Ugh. my hair is all sweaty and horrible. How do other vloggers manage to look so glamorous all the time? Hmm? I don't know, it's not me. Anyway, got to Waitrose, check this car out. That's to my right. That's to my left. This is typical Waitrose. <laughs> Very expensive cars everywhere. Anyway, I'm going to go in and get myself some vegetables for tonight and a coffee. And then I'm contemplating getting my car washed because it is really bad. And I don't think I've washed it for probably over six months and I can't actually see out the back windscreen. <laughs> Can you see? Yeah. I know I should do it myself, but it's such a horrible day. It started to rain. Maybe it's not a good day to get the car washed if it's raining. I don't know. I found £20 in my purse the other day. So it'd be free. It would be a free car wash. I don't know. Look at the state of this. I, I desperately need to get my hair cut. Desperately. Anyway, let's go and get myself a coffee. Oh! Oh goodness. Right, I've moved the car from Waitrose, got myself some Cavallonero cabbage for supper. I've got an avocado as well, see if I can eat up lunch tomorrow. And I've got myself a sarni, tuna, mayo and sweet corn because I'm still doing pescatarian. It's pescatarian. Uh, nearly got mown down in the car park, Waitrose car park, by a massive tank. This woman was driving a massive tank, 4x4. Four four. So I did give her a little bit of a stare and asked her what she was doing. And she just smiled at me sweetly, so. That was nice, she was trying to park in a children's um, space. She did have a child with her, but not a buggy and it was a buggy space, but anyway. Uh, yeah, and then in Waitrose, it's like, it's like Armageddon on a Sunday. It's like um, people are gonna starve to death if they don't go into Waitrose or, or any supermarket on a Sunday. It's crazy, it's horrible. In fact, being out on a Sunday at all is horrible. <laughs> it's just too busy. It's horrible. I don't know how, normal people cope or you Monday to Friday people. I don't know how you do it. I, it would drive me insane. 
anyway I'm at the hand car wash place but I'm not sure if I'm gonna have it done I'll decide in a minute I need to deal with the hangry situation right now uh, it's now tipping down and probably the key to the car wash is going to go down but it's wet it's cold it means I would have to walk around the garden center for I don't know an hour aimlessly and I think I'm gonna go home leave the old car wash for a weekday when it's quiet and not raining I think I'm gonna go home listen to my book start another book and chill out for the rest of Sunday that's what most people do isn't it yeah right well just home put the washing on to spin hang that out I'm gonna have a bath I am suddenly really cold and like I, I sort of had a bit of a sweat on when I was walking because it was so warm that I feel dirty so I'm gonna have a nice hot bath, get into my comfies, and chill out for the rest of the day. I'm gonna leave my makeup on, or just in case, you know, somebody knocks on the door. I'll take that off later, but I'm gonna have a nice hot soak. So I did have a lovely bath. I finished where the crawdads sing, which is just the most incredible book. Recommend it. If you can listen to it on Audible, it's great because the narrator is fantastic. But I think as a book to read as well, it would be pretty awesome. It's quite sad that it finished. There was twists and turns that I wasn't expecting. It was it was a lovely, lovely book. Atmospheric, lots of detail. You really fell in love with the character and her characters around her, some of them. Give it a go. Where the core dads sing. Thumbs up. So I'm currently sitting on my bum in my comfies and I'm reading You're About a Badass. Trying to read it anyway. Let's see how this one goes. Pop Pop's on the bed. Naughty Pop Pop. It says here, this is Lao Zhu, ancient Chinese philosopher, he said, if you are depressed, you're living in the past. If you are anxious, you're living in the future. And if you are at peace, you are living in the present. <laughs> I mean, it's true, isn't it? It's true, 100%. Kids are running around outside playing with their Nerf guns. <laughs> It's a constant Nerf gun battle outside my flat window sometimes. But it's really nice that they run around and they're not on computers and stuff. So it's all good. It's all good. So I'm going to sit here, read my book. I've had a cup of tea. Kiss the cat. And then uh, have dinner. Apologies for, you know, looking awful right now, but I did have a bath early and I did take all my makeup off. So, you know, fresh faced, fresh faced. So tonight I'm having vegetarian cottage pie, shepherd's pie, we call it in our family, but cottage pie to most people. And, um, and it came from one of the books that I picked up, the one pound meal vegan. And this is it here, lentil cottage pie. So it's supposed to have um, onion, garlic, carrot, chopped tomatoes, water, vegan gravy, granules, handful of lentils, a large potato, olive oil, salt and pepper. So I did add some mushrooms to that and I didn't use pew lentils, is it? P -p -p 
pew, 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 P-U-I lentils, pew. I don't know. I used red split pen lentils because that's what I had in the cupboard. I think I did do, I just sort of added up to the ingredients a bit so it made more than one portion. And I have to say, it's delicious. I added, uh, instead, I didn't have any uh, tomato puree. It doesn't say to add tomato puree, but you know, you gotta add a little bit of zhuzh to these things. I didn't have any tomato puree, so I put in some, I've got tomato and chipotle ketchup. Oh, this here, which is delish, really delicious. So I added a slosh of that. Uh, lots of seasoning, salt and pepper. I also added herbs to it. And this is how it turned out. Ta-ta! So I think it's, you know, pretty similar. Oh, I did add some cheese on top as well, which obviously if you're vegan, you're not going to put cheese on top unless it's vegan cheese. But I'm not vegan and I'm not vegetarian, but this is, you know, I turned it into a vegetarian recipe instead of a vegan recipe because I also added butter to the mashed potato. But it's very delicious. In my opinion, it tastes pretty much identical to a meat shepherd's pie. Um, I don't miss the meat in it at all. So I will definitely make that one again. Definitely, it's lovely. So I've got my cabbage on cooking to go with it, my Cavallo Nero, and then I'm gonna settle down and eat it. I've been watching Wisting. Uh, if you've got I, iPlayer, BBC iPlayer, search for Wisting. It's a Norwegian um, crime drama and it is bloody fantastic <laughs> i'm hooked my next door neighbor's hooked martin's hooked we're all hooked so i'm on episode nine i've binge watched it the last few days i think it's really really good i love a norwegian scandy crime drama you can't beat them here we go here it is piping hot vegetarian shepherd's pie and cavalo nero with butter and salt yum 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 got my din dins here looks pretty yummy pretty yummy so I'm going to enjoy it. I'm going to have to probably take the scarf off. <laughs> I'm a bit chilly. That's why I have the scarf on. I'm watching the Pottery Throwdown. Have you been watching that? It's brilliant. I think it's on Channel 4. Is it on Channel 4? Yeah, Channel 4. Great Pottery... Pro uh, the Great Pottery Throwdown. It's brilliant if you like pottery and making it. It's great. It's like the Great British Bake Off, but with pottery. It's awesome. Anyway. Ramble. I'm going to eat my food, I'm going to sign off, I'm going to say goodnight, and I shall speak to you very soon. Sorry if it was a bit of a weird random vlog and a bit of a whingy one. It's live, we all whinge. Night night.